Okay, we've written an exponential equation on the board. We've got two to the x plus x equals 11. And what I wanna do on this is, I wanna use the Lambert W function to find all real solutions for x. One thing you might notice about this is you don't really need to use Lambert W. There's gonna be some quicker, easier ways to do it. I think we'll see that later on, but for now, let's just get started with the Lambert W. So the first thing I wanna notice is here we have a two in the base. I'd rather have E as the base. If you have something, any constant a, we can write this as e to the ln a. And so everything I'm doing right now is to try to transform this equation into something where we can use this formula over here to the right. And you'll see on this we have, our base needs to be e. So using this formula on two to the x, I can write this as just e ln two. And, and now let's subtract x on both sides. So the right side of the equation becomes just 11 minus x. And sorry, I forgot we have an x on there. So let's put that back. Let's divide off this expression on both sides. So if I divide by this on the left side, the left side just becomes a one. On the right, we'll have this 11 minus x, all times e. Then dividing it, we're gonna have a minus on the exponent now, minus x ln two. And so now in order to use this formula, what we need is we need the same coefficient in front of the e as what we have in the exponent. And then we can just take that value and bring that out and get some simplification. So one thing I can do for that is, you know, we've got this, so the minus x matches, but we need the ln2. So let me, I can multiply in ln2 on both sides. And then let's just take this and kind of, not really, I'm not really gonna distribute it in. I think I'm just gonna multiply it right in there. And so now the exponent matches this last part, but I need to get this 11 on it. What I can do for this is if I multiply in e to the 11, that's gonna give me the 11, because we're gonna have exponent properties here, but we also needed to work with this ln2. So let's have this as e to the 11, times ln two. But then I need to do the same thing on the left side of the equation. Now for e ln two, just kind of doing what we did earlier in reverse, I can write this as e ln two all to the 11, but this is just two. So I can write this, put this back as two to the 11. So on the left side, when I rewrite this, I'll write it ln two, but this I'm gonna put in this form, so we'll have this as two to the 11. Rewriting all this stuff, 11 minus x ln two, now here, when we multiply this stuff together, I can add the exponent, so I can write this as e 11 minus x ln two. And so what we have here, we've achieved the formula because our exponent and coefficient match, go right to this, and we just can pull out this. So what we're gonna do is, so what I need to do here is just apply the Lambert W function on both sides. We'll take Lambert W on the left side, and then take Lambert W on the right side. So when we apply it on the right side, what's gonna come out is just this value right here, or from the exponent, doesn't matter. And so let's put that down first, that we're gonna have 11 minus x ln two. And just switching the sides of the equation, I'll bring this part down, Lambert W ln two times two to the 11. Now from here, we just wanna solve for x. So first I can divide off ln two on both sides, divide off ln two here, that's gonna cancel. Let's subtract off this 11 on both sides, subtract 11 right here. So this is gonna be zero, and then all that's left on the left side is just gonna be minus x. But then let's just multiply by minus one on both sides, reverse the sign over here. And then let's just reorder this to clean it up a little. And so now we've isolated x and we have some kind of answer. It's just kind of ugly and not really what we want. So is there a way we can simplify this and get this to look a little bit better? One thing we can notice about this, the input on the Lambert W function, this value is definitely gonna be positive. LN2 is like 0 0.69, but two to the 11 is 2048. So this is gonna be like something between 1000 and 2000, not really sure, but definitely positive. If we look at a graph of the Lambert W function, very rough graph. If this is our graph of Lambert W of X, looking at just real solutions, if we have anything to the right of zero, any positive value of X, there's only one solution. There's only gonna be one intersection point on this curve. So we're gonna have just one real solution for X. So really what we need to look at is can we simplify this numerator at all? If we can simplify this, if we can simplify this, maybe we can get a better answer for X. So now for this thing right here, what I wanna do again is can we use the formula again and get this to work? Well, we can create the E because we can do the same thing we did before and write two as E ln two. So doing it that way, if we rewrite it in that form, we're gonna have ln two e 11 times ln two over here. 
And so the only trouble we have is this exponent doesn't match this, but the good news is we do have this element two to work with. So what I'm thinking is, can we just kind of pull twos out of here until we can somehow make this work? Because what you'll notice for two to the 11, I can break this up. I could write it as two to the 10th times two. Let's kind of rearrange it and bring this ln2 into it. Well, with exponent properties, I can bring this here. We can have two to the 10 ln2 squared. That's not quite gonna work if we do two to the nine, taking two copies of two out, then what we're gonna get two to the nine ln two, this is a four. So now we have a four in the exponent. But if we do this one more time, write this as two to the eight times two cubed ln two, then what we have is two to the eight ln two cubed is eight. So now we have two to the eight here. But now doing it this way, this is actually gonna work. Let's kind of reorder it. So we'll bring the two to the 11th in front and split it up as two to the eight times two cubed or eight ln two. But bring this over into the exponent. But now here I just want to take the two to the eight and write it with e as the exponent. So when I do that, let's see what happens. But now writing two to the eight in this form here, we now match the formula. We've got the same coefficient and exponent. So taking the lambda w on this, we're going to have just natural log two to the eight. But then with log properties, we can just put this back and we can write it as eight ln two. So let's take this and put it back in our solution. So what we have over here is gonna be 11 minus eight ln two over ln two. But then the twos cancel here and here. And then just calculating 11 minus eight for my final solution of this, we get just three. And now if we wanna validate, just take three and plug it back into this thing. We have take two cubed, which is eight plus three, and that's gonna be equal to 11, so that works. And so the reason at the beginning of the video I said there's probably some easier ways, it's probably just guess and check. You could plug in numbers and get to 11 pretty fast. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.